I am standing on the corner of Broadway and Pacific Highway. And if this project kind of looks familiar, because it should, if you've been following me and watching my videos since last year, this was the Manchester Pacific Gateway project. The rumors were kind of after I did my video that Manchester couldn't really secure financing and was looking to sell the project. And then when COVID happened, it was kind of like, hmm, a no brainer to really try to unload this project, but awesome, but luckily, a group of people up in North County, a life science center group, uh, started a real estate firm, IQHQ, and purchased this land from Manchester, um, Doug Manchester, to do away with almost everything that I talked about in our previous video. You know, come see, come saw. Sometimes, you know, we speak a little too soon and the project's been passed, but because of certain reasons like financing, it just doesn't go through. But what's amazing is, I really dig what's gonna be happening here, more so than what Man, uh, Doug Manchester was gonna do. For those of you that love Doug Manchester and think he's like God's gift, don't you worry. He's still securing from E to Broadway. There will be the hotel going in there. A 1.9 acre plaza will also be going in there. And this IQHQ group will be developing what is be called San Diego Research and Development will be going on right here, RAD for short. So from E to Harbor, they're gonna be developing a one and a half billion dollar life science city along the waterfront. I mean, that is something really flipping cool. This is gonna be shops and hotels and offices, which also is very cool, but nothing like a life science city. Kind of never heard anything about that or like that before. Um, it's gonna bring and drive a lot of biotech down here, at least that's the plan. Obviously, the Navy headquarters is complete, the Navy, I think, started moving in. If they haven't started moving in, they're starting to move in next week. And they'll be living with the construction because once the deal went through, they started building immediately, which is awesome. So you can see the construction going on over there. They're still gonna be opening up E, F, and G streets. Manchester, again, is still gonna be taking over where the Navy headquarters is there now. Once the Navy moves into that building, they're gonna be tearing down those ugly square blocks piece by piece, because again, they were built like rocks just to withstand any kind of explosion or whatnot. Um, and then the hotel will start going in and also the 1.9 Plaza. What's cool, what they're doing at the RAD area over there, it's gonna be a series of mid-rise buildings coupled with a 17-story high-rise, a museum, and a three-acre park. And of course, the Navy headquarters will still be there. But what's really cool too is I know a lot of people were standing in front of Pacific Gate, which is San Diego's most uber luxury high rise that was completed a few years ago by Bosa. They were worried about their views. You know, when I brought clients in there, will I have my view? Will I have my view? Will I have my view? Probably the number one question I'm asked for downtown. I never say yes. I say enjoy it while you have it because you know what? You're not buying for a view. You're really buying for a lifestyle or maybe for a life science. Just kidding. But with this biotech coming down here, what, what that means is it's really going to just have, again, high paying jobs. I've been saying it. If you saw my video about the campus at Horton, I said it in my last one with East Village Quarter. And now with this biotech firm moving in or biotech life science city center moving in over there, it's just a lot of smart people. Number one, if you're single, hang out around here, but also high paying jobs, high paying jobs and wealth bring people that can afford high paying or high cost condos and stuff like that. So, you know, hopefully it drives prices up, it drives our values up. And really, this is just something super cool. Since they begun immediately, they're looking for their first phase to be completed by summer of 2023. And they didn't really state or say when they figured the whole entire project will be built, but it's really just gonna be awesome to see all these mid-rises mid going in. The project looks sexy, it looks modern. It kind of looks unique. And again, being on the water, I don't really care about this, but it's not going to be blocking anyone's view. You know, you have Electra, you have Pacific Gate, um, and you have a couple of apartments, but again, eh, apartments, you block your view, then buy, call me, buy something. So what's really cool is we knew something was going on with Manchester. Work kind of halted a little bit, except for at the Navy headquarters. So it's really cool that the San Diego based biotech people got together, started this real estate firm, IQHQ, and did something about it and are moving in downtown and rocking and rolling. 
So the San Diego Research and Development District is going to take over about two thirds of the Manchester project. So around five city blocks or eight acres. Their goal is to fill it with lab filled offices and ground floor retail with unrivaled bay views to really attract the lightest and brightest of the pharmaceutical companies, whether they're in San Fran right now or Los Angeles, maybe the East Coast. But you tell me another city in the world where you can come down, do your pharmaceuticals and have an amazing view of the San Diego Bay and Coronado and Point Loma and beyond. My name is David Spiewak, your go-to guy for all things downtown, including projects that take left and right turns and of course, real estate. I'm using my feet. They aren't. Ooh, go back down again. Shout out to Wawa. I'm wearing the socks. Thank you guys. I love it. So I put something on Instagram. I was just drinking out my amazing Wawa coffee mugs because they make the best coffee and they make the best mugs. And I just gave them a little shout out to my besties and they gave me some swag. So thank you, Wawa. I'm making good use of it. I wear, I'm going to wear the beanie tonight. It is cold out. I think it's like 51. <laughs> Bye.